Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be working on uh, my gravity wagon. I am about out of corn for my pigs, so I've got to get it fixed up. And uh, as you can see here, there's not very much uh, corn ground up left in these barrels. And uh, I need to get my gravity wagon fixed up. There's a couple of uh, rust spots that I want to get a little bit of paint on and then I've got to... Uh, get a new piece of plywood on there for the roof and then we're gonna get some rolled roofing and put on the top of there so now I'm gonna go down to the pasture with the tractor and uh, get it hooked up and pull it up here uh, by the barn so I can have all the stuff I need to work on it so that's what I'm gonna do today all right I got the gravity wagon up here no problems there and uh, this gravity wagon I think it's uh, 150 bushels I bought this uh, back in January actually and uh, paid $350 for it. We replaced the tires. I, my grandpa had some tires that he uh, gave me. And then uh, we got those replaced at just a local tire shop that we have. And then uh, we had to do some work on it. It wasn't uh, tied down to this running gear very well at all. As you can see right here, there was nothing holding it there. Or over there and there's just several uh, braces like this that uh, we had to get made and uh, just bolted all that together so we did quite a bit of work there and then like I said we got the tires replaced and now what I want to do as you can see it's just plywood up there for the roof obviously that isn't gonna last very long um, so this front piece of plywood here leaks a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and replace that and then we're gonna buy some rolled roofing and I'm gonna uh, put rolled roofing on it and then for that center part there there's a piece of plywood that uh, sits around there that slides on and off but then coming inside here it looks pretty good there's not uh, very many holes at all there's a couple up there in that corner that you can see the light coming through but the body looks pretty good up here in this underneath that stuff there's a little bit of rust and then the same down over here so I just want to get my grinder and uh, get a wheel on that and grind that down and then I'm gonna repaint it I'm also gonna go ahead and recaulk some of these seams right here and uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing hopefully we get this thing uh, filled up because like I said I'm getting low on feed so I need to get it full but uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna try and buy it from a farmer or if or what I'm gonna do there quite yet all right, I got it all sweeped out, and uh, you can see the rest a little better. It's not too bad. Uh, like I said, I just want to get it ground down and then uh, get it painted so that it doesn't get any worse in here. To grind it down, I've got my grinder out here, and I've got this, I don't even know what it's called, disc on here. I really don't know what I'm doing here, guys. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to get started and see how it goes. All right, I ran out of uh, sanding blades for my grinder, so now what I'm gonna do is replace this piece of plywood up here. As you can see, it's in kind of rough shape up here. The ones in the back are actually okay. They're not near as bad. So I just want to replace this front one, and uh, that's what I'm gonna on now. What a pain that was ripping that flashing off. I mean, that dude, whoever put that stuff on there, I mean, he used like a thousand staples. So that right there just took me about 20 minutes. I was going to try and save it, but uh, yeah, there were just way too many staples in there. What it took me, I mean, just way too long to try and save it. So I just ripped it off of there. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to try and get these pieces of plywood off. It uh, looks like someone put this together and then. Uh, it started coming apart or something and then they came back and put uh, 
more screws and stuff because you can see right there is a star head uh, screw and then there's also just nails all down the edges and stuff so I don't know if uh, someone put it together originally originally with nails and then came back and uh, put screws in it or what but uh, it was obviously painted at one time but seems like uh, I don't know I don't know if it was stored inside for a while or what but yeah this this front piece here is definitely uh, in worse condition than I thought I'm glad that I'm uh, gonna replace it and uh, I'm gonna take a closer look at the back ones hopefully they're not uh, I don't think they need to be replaced but I want to just take a closer look because if I'm gonna invest and put the money into it with the rolled roofing I want to uh, make sure that it's gonna last so I don't know if you guys can see it or not but uh, I just noticed there's a wasp nest up there in that corner and there's actually a couple wasp on there and uh, I don't know how I haven't gotten stung yet but I'm definitely gonna take care of that alrighty I got the wasp all taken care of I actually ended up finding a second wasp nest in there I don't know how I didn't get stung I've been in there for I don't know probably three or four hours and they never stung me so that's good I guess but uh I got most of the screws out of this piece of wood, this piece of plywood, and uh, I think I'm going to try and get it off now without the wind blowing it away. Well, there's a set of nails that I missed, so I'm going to have to go in there and try and hit it out from the bottom. Alrighty, finally got that off. That took a while, but uh, there was one screw that was buried underneath some paint and uh, it was sunk way down into the woods, so I wasn't able to see it. But uh, that's the one that was holding us up. Finally got it off. As you can tell, it's just this board is just uh, completely rotted away. There's not very much left to it at all. But coming up here, all the boards, uh, like the main frame, everything looks pretty good. There's a little crack there. Uh, in that board, but I think it'll be all right. But uh, yeah, now I've got to move on to this side. Okay, got that one off. It went uh, much easier. Then that first piece did. I'm gonna have a little bit of cleanup to do around the edges and stuff. I want to get all that caulk scraped off of there so that I can re caulk that uh, real nice. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the progress that I've made today. I think I'm going to stop for the day. It's getting pretty late. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys all tomorrow. It's the next day now, and I've been out here for a while. Uh, Got most of the surface rust removed that I want to. Let me get in here and I'll show you guys. So, as you can tell, I uh, just did it around the seams pretty much. And then there's a couple spots that I did that were starting to rust through on the sides that I did as well. But uh, I mainly just wanted to do it around the seams. And I was over here on this side grinding and I actually ended up finding a couple holes, unfortunately. So, that one, it's not too big. I can't even get my finger through. And then up here, this one isn't isn't as big as the other one but it's uh there's kind of three or four different holes there so i'm not really sure what i need to do there i think what i'm going to do is just paint it and then uh i've got some caulk and i'm just going to cover that real good with um caulk and for now i think that'll work eventually i think i'm going to come back and end up painting the whole thing but uh if you know anything about working with metal or anything uh let me know what you think i should do here also if I got enough of this rust off of here. One thing that I forgot to mention yesterday about the gravity wagon, the box part of the gravity wagon is 
and the running gear. Um, I think they're from two different gravity wagons, as you can see right here. This comes up off of uh, the frame of the running gear, and uh, it looks like it was cut off on all four sides. And then this bigger uh, box was put on. As you can tell, this is the front of the wagon here. And uh, you can see the ladders there. And then there's also one of the... Uh, I don't know how well you guys can see that or not, but there's also the remains of a slow-moving vehicle sign uh, right there. So this is actually the back of the wagon, we think. And whoever did this put it on backwards. So that was kind of uh, funny and something that we noticed. And we think that's why it wasn't... Uh, strapped down or secured down to the running gear as best as it should be But now what I think I'm going to do is uh, Get this cleaned up sweep out some more um, Of the just the dust and stuff that's in here and uh, then try and get ready to start painting Alrighty, well, I got it painted last night I put the primer on and then this morning I came out and was able to get it painted and uh, looks pretty good I'm probably going to try and get a second coat on. I'm not sure if I will or not. I was going to paint it red but uh, our red paint it sat outside in our garage on a shelf, and uh, I started shaking it and stuff, and then I opened it up and started mixing it with a stick, and I noticed that the bottom was fe feeling weird, and uh, it's like really spongy. I don't know what happened to it. It wasn't, it had never been opened before, so I don't know. I guess just from the heat and stuff, and it's sitting outside, it went bad. So, yeah, I'm not able to use that. Obviously, that isn't going to paint very well, so... I decided to uh, grab a gallon of green paint that we had in the house. We were going to use it for something else, and uh, we just had never got around to doing it yet. For now, I think I'm done with this. Um, today is Wednesday, and I think on Friday I'm going to get some grain, or some corn, I mean. And uh, I'm probably not going to be able to get the roof done by then, so I think what we're going to do is get all this stuff out of where we keep our hay. And uh, I need to measure still to make sure that it'll fit in here, but then we're going to back it in here. And uh, these tarps, I think, will keep it dry for a while. It's not going to be underneath here for very long. I'm hoping no more than three or four days, and I'll be able to have the roof on. So that's what I'm going to do uh, with it for now. All right, guys, it's the next morning now, and uh, I'm back out here. The mill just called me, and uh, they're going to be bringing the feed out, or the corn out today instead of tomorrow. So I've got a caulk gun here. I need to get this caulked up quick. Um, so that hopefully it's dry by the time they get out here. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. I got another layer of paint on yesterday, so it looks really good, I think. And uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be nice. So I'm gonna try and get the caulk on these holes and finish this up. Alrighty guys, the feed truck just left. Uh, guy was super nice, super helpful, and uh, we were able to get it all in. There's still quite a bit of room that you can see, but uh, it would have been kind of hard to get it more in there so i think this is the right amount for us we probably won't do much more than this at one time and uh it looks good so i got the caulk um all finished up i didn't show you guys any of that um but uh yeah i got it all finished up it was dry by the time he got here so that was good and uh it looks good in there but one thing that i'm worried about is the tires <laughs> you can see here they are Pretty flat, and this back one back here, especially if I come around here and show you guys. I mean, that is that's super flat. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I uh, text Dad and uh, waiting on a call back from him, and I'm gonna decide what to do. I got it all lined up here with the uh, where I, we're gonna keep it till we can get the roof on. So all I gotta do is back it up. It's Saturday now. The tires were at about 25 psi, so I was able to air them up to about 40, and. Uh, as you can see, now they're not near as flat, so they're ready. But uh, yesterday, Friday night, we went over to Home Depot, got a piece of plywood for the roof, and we also got uh, some rolled roofing. For those who don't know, it's pretty much just like shingles, I guess. But uh, it's in a roll, and you just put down that, uh, I think it's basically tar stuff, and then just roll that out on it, and it sticks to it. So that's what we're going to be working on today, so we'll see how that goes. Alrighty, we got the plywood on, went pretty smoothly, so now we're ready to move on to the roof. We got a couple pieces put on, this piece, and that small piece, and then we did this whole big piece. But for those who don't know, all you do is take, it's pretty much just tar, paint it on, and then this shingle-like stuff just uh, rolls on top of it and sticks to it, and it holds it in place. 
So it's going pretty well. Uh, it's pretty dirty, but that's all right. So we're gonna let these cure up and then finish up. Well, it's a few days later now, and uh, we ended up running out of rolled roofing and also tar. Uh, so what we we're gonna do is just uh, tar the lid for the gravity wagon. But as you can see in that back corner back there, we ran out of tar, so we went and bought another a gallon of tar. And uh, I'm gonna finish painting that, and then I'm also going to go ahead and paint the seams here all the seams along here and then I think I'm also going to uh, roll this edge right here and get just to protect the edge of that piece of plywood so that it doesn't start to uh, rot out so that's what I'm gonna be doing now as you can see this stuff is pretty nasty that's why I'm wearing gloves it really hard to get off of you if you get any on your skin you pretty much got to use gasoline to get it off So obviously, uh, this doesn't need to look pretty. I'm not worried about that at all. It just needs to protect this uh, corn that I've got in this wagon because as some of you probably know, the price of corn is uh, really super high and uh, it cost me over $700 to get this wagon full. And I definitely don't want any water getting in here. So the couple dollars that it's gonna take to get this uh, that it took to get this roof on is nothing in comparison to uh, the money that it would be if I was to lose if water were to get in here and I was to lose all that corn so that's the reason we're doing this and uh, that's why I'm trying to just make sure all the seams are covered up good because even a small leak can spread pretty quick if you don't catch it so that's why I'm doing all this Okay, I got that finish and uh, went pretty well. It was pretty hot, but uh, that's just part of it, I guess. And uh, I'm glad that it's done. Hopefully, uh, this wagon will last me a while. Um, I am going to have uh, another video out about this wagon eventually. I'm not sure when. Uh, probably once I get rid of the pigs that I have now, but I want to. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and paint the rest of the wagon, the rest of the inside and the outside, since I've already got... Uh, since I've already put the money into it, I'm figuring, well, another, you know, 50 bucks to paint it, uh, it'll probably wor be worth it. So, there will probably be um, another part. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next one.